Mindsets in human behavior, the neurobiochemistry underpinning human health and well-being versus our decline. In this module, we will discuss mindset, spirituality, and psychology. Welcome. We are here today to start a journey taking you through the neurology of human function and survival from a biochemical and physiological lens. Other lecturers teach neurology and function, but don't emphasize the biochemistry underpinning the physiology. These are what underpin behavior. We are here to solve that. In the process, we will look at food and nutrition, pathology testing, and blood work along the way with epigenetics and biomics studies, among many others to give you a three-dimensional view of human health and provide tools to impact and influence that health from a brain-based perspective, the point of being an OptiHuman. So let's start by offering a warm congratulations to you. By being here, watching module one, you've already demonstrated the first and perhaps the most crucial mindset to future health and well-being. This being a willingness to change, to learn new things and to adapt to your environment, not staying still nor doing what you've always done. The cognitive flexibility allowing change to become positive is perhaps the most essential element leading to all future growth, apart from hope. Without a drive to change, no growth can occur. There are several other important elements which we will discuss that are essential for growth, health and development, including homeostasis and the central integrated state. Growth is the essential element we are aiming for in this partnership, yours with me. The terms fixed mindset and growth mindset were coined over 30 years ago by Dr. Carol Dweck. Essentially, if you believe you can get better or be smarter and understand that effort makes you stronger, then you will put an extra time and effort into this pursuit. The extra energy put into the pursuit yields higher achievement and causes change from the pattern you were in. Those who believe their abilities are able to be altered and improved on are more likely to embrace challenges and persist despite failures, making alterations to help perfect themselves in the journey. Two mindsets. What you're looking at here is the two mindsets graphical representation that was first coined by Carol Dweck. What the image displays is a fixed mindset versus a growth mindset. Want to see more? To access the complete mindset and human behavior course and continue your learning journey, visit our site and enroll now at optihuman.com.au.